What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Neighbor's Kitchen. Hey, so last week, you watched me make up a recipe out of stuff in the fridge that I just didn't want to throw away while I was going to be gone for a little while. <laughs> Today, we're going to do the exact opposite. I'm not making anything up ever before this or after we're going from a cookbook. And this episode comes with a little bit of a story and sentiment. So I went to college at University of Northwestern Ohio. And at the time they didn't have uh, traditional dorms or a cafeteria. I have no idea what they have today. But uh, they had efficiency apartments in a cafe. So if you didn't have the money to go out to eat all the time, or if you didn't know how to cook, you were gonna be really hungry. And sometimes we were. So um, for my high school graduation party, my mom gave me this cookbook and this crock pot. And one of the first things that I ever really latched onto was this recipe that we're gonna cook together today. It's, it's corn and beans, but it was like, first thing an 18 year old away from home uh, really kind of latched onto as a, uh, I'm gonna call it a comfort food for myself. I'm not saying you guys have to believe the same, but it's, it's corn and beans. It's on page 11. I believe this book is still available. If it is, I'll see if I can put it in the description below. It's pretty easy. Really fills you up. There's a lot of options you can do with it. So straight out of the book, it's actually a vegetarian recipe. I believe that is our first vegetarian recipe on the channel. Not to mention, I believe this is our first time with a crock pot. So this crock pot's a little old. I've replaced the cord on it like a lot. That's okay, it still works, I think. Um, so anyway, uh, we're gonna get to this. We're not gonna overcomplicate it. I just, I wanted to share with you guys that I can also read instead of just make recipes for you. It's pretty easy. So let's go through the ingredients real quick. <clears throat> Needs a little bit of olive oil. I know a little bit's not a measurement. Needs a tablespoon of olive oil. Needs one large onion, diced. Got that. It says one or two jalapeno peppers, also diced. I went with one. Uh, one clove of garlic, minced. Two cans of light red kidney beans, rinsed and drained. So you don't have to watch me do that. Already rinsed and drained. It says one bag of a 16 ounce frozen corn. I've never seen frozen corn that small, so I got a can. Uh, a can of diced tomatoes undrained. Got it. One green bell pepper, and it calls for cut into one inch pieces. So I left those cut up into decent sized chunks. And then <clears throat> our seasoning is two teaspoons of chili powder, three quarters teaspoon salt. I actually used one and a half teaspoon, teaspoons, excuse me, of kosher salt. Whenever a recipe does not call for kosher salt, I assume they're talking about table salt. Table salt is more potent than kosher salt, so whenever you're converting it, if it says kosher salt and you wanna use table salt, you cut it in half, and vice versa, you double it. So I doubled it. Um, half a teaspoon of ground cumin, in there. Half a teaspoon of black pepper, in there. It says one carton, eight ounces of plain yogurt. Optional. I'm taking the optional route because it seems weird. And then once you get down here, so that's all the ingredients. The instructions, it's just got two. Pretty simple. So you can do this too, follow along with me. So it is instructing us to heat oil in a medium skillet and add onion, jalapeno, pepper, and garlic. We're just sauteing all the stuff that has the really good flavor. Easy enough. So let's cook five minutes. All we're doing is sauteing it. So we're gonna heat up a pan. Ooh, maybe we should do that right now. 
Uh, I got it right behind me. Got my cast iron. Uh, what did it say? In a medium skillet. Well, it actually doesn't have a temperature. I already know saute needs medium high. So medium high. Let me get that going. So yeah, uh, onion, beans, nope, sorry, I jumped ahead. Add onion, jalapeno, and garlic, cook five minutes, and then add, okay, into the crock pot. Uh, step two, cover and cook on low seven to eight hours or on high two to three hours. We're gonna go high two to three hours. Um, because my crock pot, I'm pretty sure, only has high these days. It doesn't matter where you put that knob, <laughs> it's high. It's it's high mileage. Okay, that's okay. Um, so I'll take a picture of this. If I can find this book on Amazon, I'll give you the link. Um, but hey, thank you for tuning in. Let's get cooking. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add our oil here. This is olive oil. And as you can see from the shimmering, it's already ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my diced onion and my minced garlic. I always start with these two because the two just complement each other so well. And I like my onions a little more caramelized than I do my peppers. So I'm gonna add those in a little bit later. Um, but just go ahead and get a nice spoon or spatula, something safe for cast iron if you're using cast iron or nonstick. And make sure to distribute all your oil evenly. And then um, once it gets to a good point where it smells really good, that's when you'll add your peppers. Or at least that's what I do. If you want to add them all at the same time, I'm not sure there's anything wrong with that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure this is well mixed. And I'm gonna take a minute here to just make sure you guys are having a good time watching me cook and possibly cooking with me. If you don't mind, go ahead and like this video. It doesn't cost you a dime and it really helps the channel. And if you don't mind, make sure you're subscribed. We do this every Tuesday. And sometimes it's this, sometimes it's a different, and okay, all the times it's different. So anyway, as you saw there, I just added my jalapenos and my bell peppers. And we're just going to use the same nice spoon and stir it all around. At this point, the onions and garlic are sautéed and the peppers, we're just kind of softening. So, look at all that steam. This smells phenomenal. There you go, making a mess again. Glad to see you're consistent. That is Andy walking around the background, and if you stay tuned to the end of the video, he actually shares a meal with me. So be sure to stick around and check that out. So once your peppers, especially the one inch chunk of bell peppers, oop, tossing it around. Once they feel a little soft, go ahead and turn it off. And we're going to move on to step two in the instructions from the book. And we're going to start putting everything in the crock pot. So I'm going to go ahead and move everything into the crock pot from the skillet first so that we don't risk overcooking it. And now we're going to add the kidney beans. All this is in no particular order. The seasoning, which I already pre-measured. Undrained diced tomatoes, that's important for this recipe. Drained corn. There is a tip in one of my videos I'll put in the corner on how to drain that without a strainer. I'm gonna go ahead and get a metal spoon and just mix everything all around, distributing that spice nice and evenly throughout the whole crock pot. And look how careful I am to not make a mess this time. Very good at making messes. Look at all the colors in here, this is... What a phenomenal meal. It's beautiful. Mm. I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on and set it to high. All right, so it's been about two hours. 
I've stirred it every once in a while. You can see that it's boiling. Let's go ahead and give it a stir here. I like it. See when your kidney beans start cracking like that? That's how you know you're ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this to off. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get some fixins, some bowls. And let's go ahead and try this. Sound good? See you guys in a minute. Have you ever had this with me before? This one, I don't think so. Yeah. Let's see if you like. Here you go, buddy. I'm gonna grab myself a bowl too. Well, thank you, bubs. I think I'm gonna start with just some cheese and all that ranch later. You guys make sure to fix it how you like. Oh man. Might be hot. You might want to let it get a little melty for a minute. I can do that. What do you think of that? Well, it didn't be my guinea pig. Is it too hot? No? Nope. Good to go, man. All right. Might be just a slight blow on it. It's pretty good. Mm-hmm. You liar. I told you to blow on it a little bit. You did tell me. <laughs> you did tell me that. <laughs> That's pretty good. So I was telling them at the first part of the episode, mom gave me this cookbook at my high school graduation. The one? Over yeah. There? And this nice. was literally the first thing I ever cooked on my own. Nice. Yeah. You like it? I do. Very good. Even there's no meat in it? Mm-hmm. I want to put just a little bit more cheese in it though. Put a little more cheese in it. Mm. I have become a fan of cheese compared to when I was a kid and did no cheese. <laughs> you didn't like cheese? You didn't even like cheeseburgers? Nope. Mm. And now I'll just eat plain cheese as a snack. Mm -hmm. mm. I love it. Mmm. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been fun. I have his approval. Very means nice. You gotta try it. Hey guys, thank you for watching once again. If you don't mind, like, subscribe, comment below. Try this. We'll see you next week. Thank you.